and gentlemen, this former cop is going to tell us what we already knew, that that resisting arrest and stop resisting is a bunch of BS. And most of us knew it all along. It's just nothing but psychological warfare they're playing on you. It's a bogus statement. And all the cops around this country are using it, especially on the black community. I'm going to go ahead and play this video. That phrase, sir, stop resisting, is something we are all caught and taught in the academy. And I use the word caught. It was a Freudian slip for a reason. We were told in the academy, you use this, you use those words, stop resisting, stop resisting, stop resisting, instead of saying, F you, you're a piece of shit, blah, 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 because of the public's perception around you. We were told in the academy, you want the public as witnesses watching you saying, sir, stop resisting, sir, stop resisting. So when their witnesses in court, they can say, yeah, the officer was telling them to stop resisting, and he did resist. You fast forward now, everybody knows that sir, stop resisting phrase is an ingrained phrase, and it's a bunch of guys. Men and women who are in law enforcement, even civilians, how are you supposed to comply when the second you're being taken down and there's no breath in between commands given, put your hands behind your back, stop resisting, and the cop gives you no time to do it as they're pounding on you, how can you physically, literally comply with police orders? This is just something to think about. Do I have the answers? Yeah, better training. Absolutely better training. This is somebody who teaches and has trained combatives for almost his entire life. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I am going to be a little bit of an expert on this. And yeah, my forte is in physical training. So when it comes down to physical tactics for law enforcement, I think that I know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, stop. If you're a public, stop saying he deserved it. He did. He, he resisted. The body's automatic response to tense up is it, it by definition is resisting. If I go, if you gotta, gotta read your laws and read out department policies and read everything as far as law enforcement goes. But if I go up to you and say, miss, put your hands behind your back and you tense up, I can absolutely articulate in a report that you were physically resisting me. You guys agree with that? Are you aware of that? At what point in time is information given to the brain, impaired or not, on drugs or not, drunk or not, sober or not, where they say, man, um, all right, I just given a reply. No, no, wait, your automatic response. Let's talk martial arts. Your automatic response is to return to center line with your hands. This is a place of safety. This is where your hands go. You don't see babies born with their hands all the way out here. They're born here. Everything is nice and tight. It's called your center line. Your automatic reptilian brain's response when it comes down to fight or flight process is to return to center line to protect yourself. Cover your head, do all this stuff, and then you become an active resistor in the eyes of law enforcement. Stop this Get better training on both sides. The public needs to train themselves. Stop with your crap. You don't want to get beaten? Yes, comply. Cops, you don't want to get sued? Stop beating. It's a simple process. The relationship has to come together. That's it, guys. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, anything that comes from these folks is just, it just can't be believed. Plain and simple, ladies and gentlemen. The bottom line is separate as much as you can. I know it's not possible to do it all the time, but in those times when you can do it, do it. The less contact we have, the better off you'll be you'll at least have your sanity if you have nothing else. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. And, you know, I do have a Twitter account. I occasionally come out and I'm actually in my account right now. What I will do is I will leave the link to my Twitter account. And those of you that would like to follow me, you can do so and I will follow you back. Peace, family.